morning guys it's Carlos here on my body my experiment just having this morning coffee here that I like to do every Sunday morning it's a special caramel shot uh, coffee to have well anyway guys this is my like my treat on a Sunday <laughs> let's get to it week three down what happened in week three with this carnivore diet that I've been going through well, I, as I can tell you guys, is pretty much a little bit of the same of week two. Uh, the only change I saw was uh, that rabbit poo that I told you guys about, those bowel movements. Well, it's still uh, kind of almost the same as rabbit poo, but just uh, a little bit bigger. No! Still, still comes around. <laughs> Sorry for the details, guys. I'll just tell you guys what a person's body goes through in, in this kind of a diet. And it's still difficult to come out, so it, uh, it's still a pain in the ass. Coming out. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's all part of this carnivore diet when you're not eating everything else, with the vegetables, getting your fiber in, right? Having fruit. But uh, besides that, things have been going good. Uh, what else what can I have to say? This week, midweek. Midweek, I started uh, seeing my energy levels. By the end of my workday, was uh, feeling a little drained. You know, like uh, start Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I just you feel the body drained. I'm thinking it has has, uh, has uh, to do with the carnival diet. Though my job is uh, physically demanding, like you guys know, uh, it's just I felt different on uh, those uh, last three days of the week. And I think carnivore has something to do with it because uh, I, I, don't, I never feel like that, right? Like I, uh, my energy levels are always stay pretty solid. So, you know, somebody that's moving all the time, right? Somebody that doesn't move all the time, like someone who has an office job or somebody that doesn't have a job, like uh, like some people that have their own businesses and, and they're not uh, they're not always moving. Like uh, I do manual labor, right? So I'm always moving throughout my day. But, uh, I had my electrolytes, I drank Gatorade, drank water, kept myself hydrated. So uh, there's no reason why I, I should have felt that way. I'm I'm just thinking it has a little bit to do with the carnivore diet because you eliminate everything, right? But uh, today was weigh-in, so I weighed myself. And today I lost 2.4 pounds. So this whole week, week three, I lost 2.4 pounds and uh, three eighths of an inch off my waist all right so that's that's a great improvement next week I'll, I'll definitely be uh, telling you guys uh, a summary of the entire month that I've been going through on this carnival diet but uh, it's definitely I, I find this is a great diet for uh, if you want to lose some uh, weight and some inches off your waist I wouldn't say it's a, a lifestyle diet some people may may say differently but for me personally like i told you guys it is a pain in the ass uh but uh what uh what i do like about it is that I, d I do see a difference in my weight loss and in my uh in the inches around my waist uh i'm keep i'm doing everything the same guys i am working out as usual my early morning workouts doing it three to four times a week and uh, I'm just eating the same all this week and the previous weeks. I haven't, I haven't changed anything. I've been eating the same. I've been continuing with the carnivore uh, diet with high uh, protein meals, just completely like protein based meals, right? So I'm getting in cheese, but mainly it's just what I'm eating is just chicken and eggs is pretty much the top of the list of what I've been eating. So it's not that expensive to go through this carnivore diet. I know a lot of you guys out there, and a lot of people out there mentioned steak. Sure, steak's great, but uh, I can't always get my hands on steak. And uh, it's great to have steak when it's on sale, you know? <laughs> if you're like on a budget like I am, you have to uh, work around that. So you can't go wrong with eggs. You can't go wrong with uh, chicken. Lots and lots of chicken. And of course, beefs are awesome too. I, I love beefs. But, uh, there you guys have it, week three down, and I lost 2.4 pounds this week, and uh, three-eighths of an inch off my waist. I'm happy with that. 
as you guys know last week i didn't lose anything and uh around my waist stayed the same i didn't gain or lose so i'm good i'm happy about that too because i definitely didn't want to gain around my waist all i want to do is keep taking off taking off getting shredded trying to get shredded you know it's always a challenge but you know staying focused and always staying consistent is the key to uh getting to your goals and nutrition is a big part of it but carnivore diet is definitely helping me and i hope you guys give it a shot and uh see what kind of results you get it'll be interesting because uh everybody's body functions differently right so so i look forward to uh telling you guys in a week's time a recap of the four weeks that i've been through what i have lost weight wise and the inches around my waist so until next time guys i hope you enjoyed this video like share hope you're laughing along and uh comment all right guys i hope you guys enjoy your weekend and uh remember to always get up and don't ever give up <laughs>